Hey everybody, it's me again, the conductor in the kitchen. This time I'm in my kitchen. And what do you do on a rainy Saturday afternoon? Well, you cook and you study music. But in this case, I made a fantastic parmigiana and I'm gonna make that special recipe of the carbonara with carciofi and secret ingredients taught to me by the master Gabriele Lucacci at Macaroni in Sevilla. Look, I'm wearing the shirt, I'm in my kitchen, I'm making it for you. Bon appetito, have a good weekend. Here it is, everybody. It's all you need to make the special carbonara carciofi a la macaroni, thanks to Maestro della Cucina, my good friend, Gabriel Locacci. We're gonna add some more of that black pepper into the mix, and then we're gonna add it to the egg yolks and the pecorino, already grated in the bowl. Here it is, egg yolk, pecorino, black pepper. Okay, once we've got the egg yolk, pecorino, and black pepper, we're gonna add a little bit more of that pecorino to make a really nice sauce. And you know, there's no cream. It's just the pecorino mixed together with some salt water from the pasta, and the egg yolk makes a really delicious cream. This is what it looks like. Mix that egg, the pecorino romano, and the pepper. And it makes this delicious, creamy, sauce to die for. We've taken the guanciale out of the pan, but we're leaving the grease inside. We're gonna add a little bit more pepper, and from there, the spaghetti, or any pasta that you care to use, joins the fat of the guanciale, and mix it all together. So this is about the thickness that we want. Small little cubes, any smaller, and they basically disappear when they get nice and crisp. But this way, still retains a lot of the meat, a lot of the juice. This is about the right amount, perfect texture, and let's let the guanciale cook on its own. No oil needed. We've taken the small little carciofini, we've cut them up into little pieces. We're gonna add some onion and garlic, a special mint, some white wine, Look how they're cooking. You don't want them to get too overcooked, but you do want to stir them every so often to make sure they turn golden brown. Just look at that. Dicing some onions, chopping them up. We're gonna get the garlic ready as well. Here we go, a little bit of garlic. the artichokes into a stainless steel pan, copper pan, add a little bit of this wonderful elixir of olive oil. It's really artisanal. We've added some onion and garlic in with the artichokes. And we're gonna add some white wine, give it some flavor, absorb, add some salt and pepper of course to taste, and another special ingredient coming up. The artichokes are cooking well with the onion and with the garlic. And we're gonna add some beautiful wine by Jean-Paul Forestier, La Femme de la Pierre from Chardon. Wonderful vigneron here in Chardon. It will work well. You add the wine, it will absorb, and that becomes the basis of our special sauce. But there's one more ingredient. Gabriel, this one's for you, the special ingredient add it to our carciofi, a little bit of mint. I might even say there's probably some al Andalus in this recipe. This is not your classic Roman carbonara. This is your carbonara carciofi a la macaroni from Sevilla. And of course, you must remember that Sevilla and Andalusia was once al Andalus, and mint is very often used in food from Northern Africa, Arabic food, Middle Eastern food, even Turkish food. So it's not surprising to find mint in this recipe. Listen to that. That's the sound of Sevilla. Okay, the guanciale looks good. Well cooked, not overdone. The fat is rendered. It gets ready to take out. Okay, pasta's in, spaghetti number three, rumo. 
One thing to understand, because the guanciale is so salty, you don't need to add too much salt to the water. But this pan is deep enough, big enough to accommodate 300 grams of spaghetti. Okay, the pasta looks ready. It's al dente. I'm gonna add it to the pan, mix it up with the grease, the pepper of the guanciale. Once this is done, we're gonna add the egg yolk. It's not too hot so it doesn't turn into scrambled eggs. We're gonna add the special cacciofi. We're gonna add the special guanciale. And we're gonna add more pecorino romano when we're ready. Remember, don't forget to leave some of this incredible magic potion of pasta water for the pasta and for even the egg yolk. This is what makes it nice and creamy. It gives it that thick texture. So now we've got our pasta in the pot. Okay, Max Mariola, this is the sound you're talking about. Well, this is the sound of love. See, si, Certo. <laughs> oh, the sound of love. I don't know, I think there's some other music that's the sound of love even better than this. Maybe Tristan and his old prelude in Nibuston. That's the sound of love to me. Maybe we need something a little bit more seductive. Music to make love to. You can see that on the playlist of the conductor in the kitchen. Yeah. The sauce is in. The carciofi is in. Mixing it all up together. We'll add some more pecorino. We'll add the guanciale. Then, Carbonara carciofi alla macaroni. Okay. The carciofi's inside. Look at that. Woo! It's like an eruption. <laughs> You're so right, Max Mario. And it's done. Take a look at that texture. The pecorino Romano on top. Carciofi inside. Guanciale crisp and crunchy. This is carbonara carciofi alla macaroni. Grazie mille. Franco, Fabrizio, e Gabriel. Muchísimas gracias.